I'm Bob the Hippie Gardener and what we're going to do today is we're going to plant some spinach. It's a nice day, it's in the 60s and by golly we got our beds ready in the fall so we're raring to go. This is a bed we planted last fall and I covered it with straw and alfalfa pellets and all I need to do is move back some of the mulch and the ground is kind of frozen but it's not going to matter. This is a brand called Noble, Giant Noble Spinach. And they're the biggest spinach leaves I've ever seen. Probably the most productive spinach I've experienced. I've always planted long-standing Bloomsdale, but this is far superior to that in my opinion. But that's just my humble opinion. We'll just get a little spot here. And we're just gonna like lay a couple seeds. few inches like that And those should be about the right space apart when that spinach comes up. They should be about two to three inches apart. And that should work really well. Now all I have to do is just put some kind of a covering over them, not much. In this case, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this soil that's just barely thawed out right here. And just put it right over the top. Barely covering up the spinach. And people are going to say, hey, it's going to freeze. Yep, it sure is. But it's not going to make a big difference at all. In fact, it's not going to make any difference because that spinach is not going to sprout until it is time and the ground temperature reaches the right temperature. And that won't be when it's going to freeze. <laughs> And that's how you can plant stuff early. You need to get stuff like spinach and peas and radishes and stuff in early. And that's how you can do it. 